In an incident that happened in Tacoma, a day took a wild turn when a man named Randy Fawato Tipa, who's just 26 years of age, found himself in a police chase ending in flames on I-5. It all started innocently enough until Tipa allegedly took a woman's car at gunpoint at Orange Gate Park around 11.30 a.m. Went for a pit, car wrecked out. Get blocked in. But little did he know, an Apple AirTag hidden in the vehicle became his own worst enemy, guiding officers straight to him. Things escalated fast as deputies tried to cuff Tipa in federal way. Instead, he hit the gas, launching a heart-pounding chase that climaxed in flames on I-5. Now everyone's asking, what drove Tipa to this edge? And what happened in those moments before the chase? She's the only one we saw. Get away, get away. Tipa faced a storm of charges, from robbery to evading the law, sending shockwaves through the courtroom. In Palm Coast's bustling town centre, an ordinary day took a sharp turn when three mysterious figures caught the attention of police. With masks concealing their identities, they seemed up to no good. As officers cautiously approached, the situation escalated suddenly. Ho, 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 ho! You try to hit me? Did you just try to hit me? They're taking a 1031 in the white Toyota. The suspects, in a panic, threw the car into reverse, narrowly missing the officers before careening off into the distance. What followed was a heart-pounding pursuit as the suspects raced through the streets. The car was going really fast, but then the people crashed into a pond and water went everywhere, stopping their escape suddenly. Southbound on 75. Maybe we turn now and go back towards 100. Despite their attempt to flee, the suspects were apprehended and are currently facing charges of shoplifting and related offences. On the ground! On the ground! In a small town in Anderson, Indiana, what was just a routine warrant check turned into a total showdown. As deputies knocked on the door of a Motel 6 room, tension hung heavy in the air. They were attempting to serve warrants on two people, Brooke Badger and John Nickham. The door creaked open, revealing Brooke Badger who slipped away, leaving John Nickham behind. Inside, a deputy faced Nickham, only to be met with gunfire. There was a lot of noise and confusion when bullets started flying in the motel. People rushed in to help, feeling super energized. Nickham was found dead in the bathroom, and Badger disappeared into the darkness of the night. Show me your hands, right now. Fucking hands. Shots fired. Shots fired. No officers were injured, but the deputy who fired his gun is on paid administrative leave while the incident is under investigation. Shots fired. Shots fired. In a proactive effort to safeguard our communities, on this very day, some police officers were actively patrolling the streets, targeting those who harm the neighborhood. Sergeant Mark Jones patrolled South End as part of an operation to maintain safety and catch criminals. Moments before this footage, Jones almost nabbed a Class A drug dealer who sped downhill on a bike and he was able to sight the suspect again. When Sergeant Jones spotted the man again, he wasn't going to spare him, so he gave him an intense chase. Stay where you are. Stay exactly where you are. Stop fighting, all right? Stop fighting. Stay exactly where you are. Stay where you are. Oh. You're not gonna... Body cam footage captures the arrest of Chad Dorman, accused of fatally shooting his three children in Ohio. If we ain't safer, so. The father allegedly lined up the kids before using a rifle to execute them prompting a frantic 911 call from the wounded mother. What are you doing, man? 
Dorman calmly waited for police to arrive, offering no resistance during his arrest and later confessing to the murders. Hey, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hey, my favorite. Back up for me. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. How long has she been down? In this video, the Jefferson County Sheriff's Department responded to a distress call about a one-year-old who had accidentally overdosed on an illegal drug, leaving the child unresponsive for half an hour. 93 Narcan boy. Hey, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, can you hear me? Deputies rushed to the scene and successfully revived the child using Narcan, as captured in the video footage. Yeah, she's breathing. The Atlanta Police Department released body cam footage of a DUI suspect attempting to evade arrest by jumping off a bridge, leading to a 60-foot drop. The officers were taken by surprise and lost sight of the suspect after the fall. He landed, to, oh Jesus, radio, it's like a 60-foot drop. He's down on the ground. I can't even tell you where he's at. Or where he's going to come out. Despite the uncertainty, they later located the suspect in a wooded area and took him into custody. Somebody is with the vehicle, correct? Any other three people? No! 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 Alright, don't let You're him gonna get Don't let him bite me! You're gonna get bit! Sit down on the ground! The South Euclid police released body cam footage showing the arrest of a suspect involved in a bank robbery in Lyndhurst. Yeah, good boy! Yeah. Hey, that's him! That's the video captures a tense moment as officers apprehend the suspect, urging them to remain quiet and avoid speaking further. Get up! Get up and shut your mouth. You have the right to remain silent. boy! Just put him in one of these other ones. There he is. While on patrol, police officers spotted a man wearing armor. They swiftly intervened and forced him to the ground due to concerns about immigration issues. Drop it now! AP! The incident was captured on body cam footage titled Armed Police Arrest Mail with a Firearm in Norfolk, UK on May 23, 2021. The suspect was later captured and charged with many offences. Cleveland police confront a man in his car, pointing a gun at him before apprehending him. The body cam footage reveals the arrest of an alleged child predator who was soliciting a 14-year-old girl. The man, portrayed as a grandfather-like figure, is depicted as dangerous, raising concerns about his proximity to children. The dramatic footage captures the police's swift action as they confront the suspect, highlighting the gravity of the situation. A reckless driver in a red Chevy pickup was reported on I-95 near Oak Hill this morning and identified as Michael A. Pierce, age 27, seemed extremely impaired and was found with drugs and syringes in his truck. Pierce, with a criminal history and warrants, fled from FHP troopers, but was stopped with stop sticks by Sergeant Stone. <laughs> Sheriff Chitwood pulled him over and made an arrest, with some suspenseful moments during the pursuit and apprehension. 
Put it back down. But if, when you get them, put a shank off. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. On April 7th, 2022, at approximately 7.45 p.m., a patrolling officer spotted a familiar male with an outstanding warrant. Out of bio. Yeah. All right, man, drop your bag for me, man. You got a warrant, man. I do. Oh, yeah. After informing him of the warrant, the man suddenly fled, prompting a chase by the officer. I got a warrant for real, man. Dude, on your stomach. I got a warrant for real, sir. I'm getting under the tan behind you. The pursuit ended with the man being caught not far from where he initially ran. Hey, here you go. Here you go. Good. Here. Here. Okay. He's known to carry one, man. Upon apprehension, it was discovered that the man, who had a prior felony conviction, had a handgun with an altered serial number in his possession. Police officers urgently and repeatedly request a person to drop a gun during a tense situation. Hey, drop the gun right now! Drop the gun! Drop the gun! They try to calm the individual down, urging them to communicate and explaining that they don't want any harm to occur. Drop the gun! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We got time. Pack up, pack up. The scene is fraught with tension as officers cautiously negotiate with the person, trying to ensure everyone's safety. This incident is reminiscent of a recent case where police were negotiating with a woman accused of fatally shooting her terminally ill husband in a hospital room, as captured in released body camera footage. Why can't you drop the gun? Come back towards us. Any weapons on you? Get your hands away from your purse for me. Put them on top of your head. It is. Atlanta police made an arrest on Wednesday related to the shooting of a three-year-old child shortly after leaving a barbershop with his father. Kentavious Wright faces multiple charges, including attempted murder, gang participation, assault, battery, and child cruelty. Hmm? Yeah, I'm looking for it. All right, I got it. Let me know when you're ready. The body cam footage captures officers instructing the suspect to cooperate. The tension rises as they search him for any concealed items. There are no weapons on me. Can you give a hike? Can you get into my girlfriend, please? Right, as soon as, as soon as we get a chance, all right. I'll get the, the money out of your pocket in a second. You got no weapons on you, right? Despite finding a large sum of money, they focus on ensuring there are no weapons present. The suspect repeatedly asks about his girlfriend, and the situation remains tense until he complies with their instructions. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Newly released body camera footage depicts a tense and violent arrest as a suspect attempts to flee from the police. The video shows the suspect ramming a police cruiser and attempting to escape before being subdued with a taser gun. During a high-risk traffic stop, police apprehend a suspect named Corey and a woman named Claudia. The officers instruct Corey to keep his hands up and warn against any sudden movements. Corey, turn your siren off! Three, they question Claudia about the contents of the car and her identity. The situation escalates when Claudia mentions something about turning the lights on. <laughs> Meanwhile, police reveal that the woman they apprehended is a murder suspect from New York City, connected to a brazen murder case. <laughs> Hey, just have her come out and clear the car. And the officers discuss gathering more information from her and potentially charging her. The report ends with plans to interview her and run background checks. It's 1-1. One, one. It's on this side of the street. It's him. It's, it's him. He came out of the house. Amid a flurry of medical and police activity, a person receives assistance and is questioned about injuries, hinting at urgency and potential danger. Tell it! 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 Tell it!
Don't let him break this shit! Emergency services rush to the scene, heightening the tension. Meanwhile, the body cam footage alludes to a dark past involving a former judge, Lance Mason, arrested. So far, he was the only male in the house at the time. I, yeah, I would go that way, yeah. The released footage captures the gravity of his arrest, hinting at a deeper, suspenseful story surrounding the murder of his ex-wife. During an arrest, a bystander is confronted and taken down by police leading to a tense situation. The body cam footage captures the moment when the bystander is being subdued. The incident escalates as the bystander questions the reasons for his arrest and resists being handcuffed. Get on the ground! Another person intervenes, causing further tension between them and the officers. During a shoplifting investigation at Walmart in New Haven, Connecticut, Richard E. Smith Jr. is caught trying to leave without paying for a cart of merchandise. I just said it's not I, worth I it. She's trying to help me. What's your point? But if you know that you did pay, I didn't pay know it didn't go walk, through. Walk I'm through. trying to check on my phone. That's what I just what said What is your to you. name? That's what I just said to you. The body cam footage shows a struggle as police attempt to detain Smith, who resists arrest. The situation escalates with verbal confrontation and physical resistance from Smith. A couple of my phone. She's just trying to help me. That's what okay, I said we're, we're, we're going to walk this way. We're going to step out of line. I'm still buying my stuff. Okay, you, you're not buying your stuff anymore. I'm okay. buying my stuff. You okay. want to stop me from buying my stuff? Okay, now I... As the officers try to control the situation, there's a sense of tension and uncertainty. Stop! Hold on, you my eye off. Smith is ultimately charged with various offences, including assault on a police officer, interfering with a police officer, robbery, and possession of controlled substances. With this suspect who took off after the officers tried pulling him over for driving a stolen car. The license plate was showing to be a stolen vehicle. During a hot weekend in Texas, Two officers in White Settlement engage in a foot chase with a suspect driving a stolen car. An ex-security guard pulls up in this blue sedan. I said, sir, so would you want a ride? He goes, yeah, man, let me get in. The Good Samaritan saw the chase happening and offered a ride. At the right place. Unexpectedly, a Good Samaritan, Jimmy Davis, pulls up in his sedan and offers the tired officer a ride. Davis becomes a crucial ally, helping the officer navigate and catch up with his colleague, Officer Samuel Brown. Academy, a new hire, and this was his first foot chase. Even through, you know, some of the challenges that he's had in life, he's able to still perform in that role. Just Brown, who has only one arm, manages to detain the suspect, showcasing his resilience and determination. During a traffic stop, an officer considers charging a speeding driver for reckless driving as she raced past him at high speeds on wet roads. The officer expressed concern about the danger posed to others and asked the driver about any contraband. My car's not working. Who's that? The driver is asked to step out of the vehicle for further inspection, adding a layer of suspense to the situation. The officer mentions using a coin flip app to decide whether or not to arrest the driver, hinting at a controversial method. Ma'am. You're driving entirely too fast for conditions. You put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy, okay? A fleeing offender, Diria Ali Jamak, was arrested on a plane bound for Africa just before takeoff after a friend tipped him off about a police search. Despite buying a one-way ticket to Ethiopia to evade capture, Surrey police discovered his flight only 30 minutes before departure. The moment unfolded dramatically as Scotland Yard officers boarded the plane. Ali Jamak, guilty of three counts of sexual activity with a child, thought he had escaped justice. Um, could I have your passport? It's all video recorded on PC Williams. However, the authorities swiftly apprehended him, putting an end to his attempt to flee. Human trafficking and grooming. 
Cheers, Gilvin. Amid protests in Atlanta, two college students were tasered during their arrest, leading to the termination of two Atlanta police officers accused of excessive force. Officer Lonnie Hood's body camera footage captures the tense encounter, raising questions about police conduct during demonstrations. The termination of the officers hints at the severity of the incident and the scrutiny it has attracted. The video reveals moments of confrontation and escalation, sparking public concern about law enforcement's response to protests. The decision to terminate the officers underscores the ongoing debate over police accountability and the use of force. The scene unfolds as the officer stops a BMW driver, sparking a heated argument that culminates in the officer drawing his taser before ultimately letting go. Bad day. He's not the only one. Sit in the car. Show me what I was Sit in the car. I'm not scared of you, buddy. The senior constable's own body-worn camera captures him arguing with. In a surprising turn of events, the officer then stops a speeding biker, unaware that the rider is an off-duty police officer. The situation takes on a humorous twist as the off-duty officer's identity is revealed, leading to a moment of tension and amusement. Same senior constable pulls over a speeding bike. But when a badge is flashed, he realises the rider is an off-duty officer. <sighs> really? However, the drama doesn't end there. The officer's actions, including letting the off-duty officer off without a ticket, become the subject of a CCC investigation. Whereas there was a woman who even claimed she had a disability, but was charged reveals he has a disability. I am a specialist. Mine are retarded Sorry. anyway, so it doesn't matter. Thank you. Sorry. In his defense, the senior constable was being treated for post-traumatic stress disorder. Amid heightened emotions at a Fort Worth drag brunch event, three counter-protesters were charged with multiple offenses following clashes with protesters. The tense situation unfolded as authorities intervened to maintain order. The mention of reaching for a gun adds a layer of suspense, highlighting the potential dangers of such volatile situations. Despite the chaos, law enforcement successfully apprehended the individuals involved and brought the situation under control. Don't reach for that gun! The dramatic scene unfolds as a couple is discovered passed out drunk on a Florida beach, leaving their young children alone in a pool nearby. The police arrive, finding the couple inebriated and requesting their ID cards. Are they with you? Hey, you kids with you? Tension rises as the girl frantically searches for her bag but comes up empty handed. In a crucial moment, the man steps in to help, but his efforts are fruitless. I'm here. Where's your ID? I don't have mine. I don't have all of them. So give him your ID. That's where he wants your ID. The situation takes a turn as the police move to apprehend him, leading to a chase on the beach. Amidst the chaos, the couple's negligence is exposed, highlighting the danger their children were in. Got it? Following an arrest captured on body cam footage, two former Willis police officers received a surprising sentence of one year in jail. I'm not going to chase them on foot. I'll, I don't need to chase them. My car will chase them. Pick Kenneth Elmore and John McCaffrey were found guilty of felony tampering with a government record after being caught lying about the incident. Get him! Get him! Get him! Put hands on him! Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. The mention of drive-by tasing adds a layer of suspense, hinting at the severity of the allegations against the officers. Don't 
reach for a fugitive wanted for allegedly murdering two women in Upshur County, Texas, was arrested in San Bernardino, California, after being on the run for over a week. You understand? Yes, sir. Alvin Charles McKnight Jr., 41, was apprehended by the San Bernardino Police Department after taking a bus from Abilene to San Bernardino. The arrest took place when he got off the bus at the San Bernardino Depot around 11.30 p.m. CT, 9.30 p.m. PT. Tukwila Police Department released body camera footage of an incident where officers responded to a report of a male brandishing a knife as they attempted to contain the suspect. An uninvolved male from Tukwila interfered with the arrest, filming the scene and yelling at the officers. Get back! Get back! No. Get back! Oh God. Oh God. Stay. stay there! Stay there! Despite warnings to stay back and the knowledge that the suspect was armed, the uninvolved male approached the suspect closely. This forced officers to divert their attention, escalating the situation and posing a danger to everyone involved. Ow! Roll over. Onto your stomach. Flat your legs! Stop resisting! I'm not resisting! A patrol sergeant intervened to pull the uninvolved male away, but he resisted, attempting to kick and strike the sergeant. Both the initial suspect and the uninvolved male were detained, with the suspect arrested for obstructing a public servant and brandishing a weapon. Atlanta police arrested two women for dancing on top of an Atlanta police patrol car on Edgewood Avenue, causing a spectacle in front of a large crowd. The raw body cam video captures the moment when the women's behavior drew attention and led to their arrest. Despite pleas and apologies, the situation escalates, prompting the need for law enforcement intervention. The video shows a mixture of laughter, applause, and moments of tension as the officers handle the incident. The arrested women's actions, initially perceived as fun, quickly turn into a serious matter as they are taken into custody. In Galveston, Texas, two mounted police officers led a black suspect through the streets on a horse with his hands tied in an incident that caused public uproar when images surfaced online in August. All right, I want you to stay up by her shoulder, okay? You have to walk a little bit faster. So you don't get hurt, okay? They're still okay. single? Okay. The images captured by witnesses painted a stark picture of the situation, leading to widespread condemnation and calls for further investigation into the actions of the officers involved. Don't feel embarrassed? That's good. We're not, we're never trying to embarrass you. I know. All right, going to stop here, Mr. In a Baytown, Texas body cam video, a suspect involved in a deadly crash in New Hampshire was arrested under suspicion of drug use, with officers finding a crack pipe in his possession. This arrest occurred months after the tragic incident that claimed seven lives. The video footage captures the tense encounter, hinting at the suspect's potential involvement in illicit activities. The officer's actions suggest a sense of urgency and concern, raising questions about what led to the subsequent tragic events. The discovery of the crack pipe adds a layer of intrigue, hinting at a possible link to substance abuse issues. Exclusive body camera footage captures the arrest of South Florida rapper Chaotic 305 following his alleged involvement in a hit-and-run accident. Our rescue coming to you. Are you okay? How many people in the car? 
Two people are hurt and trapped inside their vehicle after police say they were hit by a driver running a red light. Who then the video reveals a chaotic scene on West Dixie Highway and Griffin Boulevard, where two people were injured after being struck by a driver who ran a red light and then attempted to flee on foot. Police swiftly apprehended the suspect, identified as 33-year-old Reuben McFadden, also known as Rapper Chaotic 305. After police say they were hit by a driver running a red light, who then left the scene. Officers taking down the alleged hit and run driver. Inside the suspect's vehicle, authorities discovered a loaded gun, adding a layer of intrigue to the unfolding events. One in the chamber. Hey, one second, just one second. The rapper is heard asking officers to take him out of this prisoner transport vehicle, claiming he's about The victims, although injured, are expected to recover, while Chaotic 305 faces multiple charges, including reckless driving. Nine millimeter handgun inside a student's backpack and inside a Broward County school. Hey, buddy. Hi. How are you? Body In a Florida elementary school, body cam footage captures the tense moments after school officials discovered a gun in a 10 year old student's backpack. Get your bag, buddy. It was just after 8 in the morning, parents still dropping their children off when the officer got the call. As he approaches, the campus guardian tells him the gun... Investigators are unsure of how the child obtained the gun, or if he comprehends the gravity of the situation. That a 10-year-old had a gun in his book bag. The principal says they made contact with the child immediately. Intercepted him before he got to the cafeteria, checked his bag. The child's grandfather is abruptly taken away by a family member, leaving questions unanswered. In the heart of the moment, NBA young boy and his baby mama face off with cops outside a hotel room. You can feel the tension rising as things get more intense and people's feelings get stronger. All of a sudden, everyone's heart skips a beat as a police officer pulls out a taser, making the situation even more intense and suspenseful. In the middle of all the confusion, the officials stand their ground, refusing entry to the hotel room where the baby is. You can feel the frustration and urgency in every moment of the video, showing the raw emotions and high energy moments. In Georgia, police body cam footage captures a harrowing high-speed chase where a suspect, Osvaldo Jose Garcia, fires shots at officers while fleeing at speeds exceeding 130 miles per hour. It's 115 right now. It's starting to get heavy traffic. The video unfolds with tense moments as the suspect engages in reckless driving, endangering both law enforcement and other motorists. 1050! 1050! The pursuit escalates when Garcia points a gun at an officer, prompting the officer to report shots fired. The suspect's actions create a sense of urgency and danger as officers work to apprehend him safely. The footage, captured by SWAT units, depicts a tense situation involving a suspect who shot a deputy and is now hospitalized for injuries, including smoke inhalation and burns. <laughs> The video reveals the intense moments as law enforcement personnel navigate the scene, urging caution and coordinating their efforts to address the ongoing threat. The injured deputy is reported to be recovering, but the suspect's condition adds an air of uncertainty regarding potential consequences. The footage hints at the severity of the encounter and the challenges faced by law enforcement in such high-stakes situations. In Oklahoma City, body cam footage of Derek Ollie Scott's arrest has been released by the police, fulfilling one of Black Lives Matter's demands. The video shows a sequence of events, starting with officers responding to a fight at a taco truck. Don't turn around for me. Don't turn around. Oh, 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 oh. 
As the footage unfolds, viewers witness multiple officers interacting with Scott, who is ultimately tackled and restrained. The video captures moments of tension as Scott expresses distress, and officers attempt to control the situation. Medical assistance is called to the scene after Scott complains of difficulty breathing. Give me your hand! A third officer arrives and helps search Ollie Scott. He's acting like he's unconscious. Despite efforts to assist him, Scott is later pronounced dead at the hospital. The release of the footage raises questions about the circumstances surrounding Scott's death, as the medical examiner's report indicates no fatal trauma, leaving the manner of death unknown. From there, he was loaded onto a stretcher. Medics performed chest compressions in the ambulance. Police said he later died at the hospital. Body camera footage reveals the arrest of Brady Mystic, a deaf man, during a traffic stop in September 2019. Mystic, who communicates primarily through sign language, faced challenges as officers struggled to understand him. Excuse me, who do you think you are? Stop! A civil rights lawsuit filed on his behalf alleges unnecessary force by Officer Nicholas Hanning and Officer Ellie Summers including the use of a stun gun. The lawsuit also mentions Officer Hanning's injury during the arrest. Mystic was initially charged with assault and resisting arrest, but the charges were later dropped. The incident raises questions about the officer's handling of communication barriers and the use of force, highlighting the complexities of interactions with individuals with disabilities. The lawsuit seeks accountability from the City of Idaho Springs and the Clear Creek County Board of Commissioners for the alleged mistreatment during the arrest. <laughs> Analysts at the Volusia County Crime Center alerted deputies about a vehicle owner with felony warrants, leading to the apprehension of Timothy Chiles Jr. at a Deland gas station. As deputies approached, Chiles reversed into a patrol car and fled, prompting a pursuit. A deputy deployed stop sticks, disabling Chile's vehicle, but he ran into the woods before surrendering without further incident. I'm not resisting y'all nothing. Yeah, you are resisting when you smash the f out of that patrol car. Chile's faces charges, including aggravated fleeing from law enforcement and resisting arrest, along with traffic citations for various offenses. Why are you interfering with this investigation? I'm not interfering. I'm saying private property. Boise resident Ty Warenka has filed a tort claim against the city and Boise police following an incident where he alleges he was falsely arrested while filming local law enforcement. The body camera footage from Boise police captures the arrest of Warenka as he records a phone video. Resisting and obstructing. Resisting and obstructing? Yep. Okay, well, what was I obstructing? My investigation? How is I obstructing you, your investigation? You, you try to the encounter escalates as Warenka asserts that he is not resisting, obstructing, or assaulting the officers, questioning the grounds for his arrest. During a buy-bust operation at a family dollar in Ormond Beach, members of the VSO Overdose Task Force and the East Volusia Narcotics Task Force apprehended local drug dealer Dexter Tolbert. Hands! 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 Tolbert attempted to flee but was caught a short distance away. Detectives found 3.5 grams of fentanyl, 5 grams of crack cocaine, and a loaded handgun attached to a magnet under Tolbert's steering wheel. Tolbert, a convicted felon released from prison in May, faces multiple charges, including the sale of fentanyl, possession of cocaine with intent to sell, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon.
He was taken to the Volusia County Branch Jail without bond on firearm-related charges. Experience the tension firsthand in exclusive body cam footage as Jacksonville rapper Fulio gets stopped by JSO. The scene unfolds with the police pursuing Fulio, their sirens blazing. As they catch up, the officers tactfully pull their car over, creating an air of anticipation. Stop! Reach it! Reach it. Hey. With precision, the police step out and calmly call Fulio's name, their voices cutting through the tension-filled air. Fulio, caught off guard, complies instantly, showing respect for the officer's commands. Roll your windows down. Put your hands out, man. Hey, man, put your listen. hands out. Put your hands out. The reason for the stop, a tint violation. Yet the real drama lies in the seamless communication and response between Fulio and the JSO officers. Chicago police officers stormed into Anjanette Young. Body cam footage reveals Chicago police officers executing a search warrant at the wrong address, causing distress to the innocent homeowner who was found naked and handcuffed during the incident. The mayor, unaware of the graphic video until media reports surfaced, faces calls for a full investigation from city aldermen. The victim's attorneys criticize the officers for their actions, emphasizing the lack of protection and service provided. You got the wrong help. As she stood there, naked and helpless, armed officers searched young... Witnesses at a Florida Walmart reported seeing two toddlers wandering around the parking lot in diapers, leading to the arrest of 35-year-old Dejun Killingbeck for child neglect. Well, he slept off. Yeah, I'm in contact. Sir! There's a straw in his pocket as well. You guys don't need me anymore. You guys have a good Deputies found Killingbeck unconscious in a running vehicle and questioned him about the children's whereabouts. Oh! They went with Walmart staff after they ran in a parking lot in nothing but a diaper. While you were asleep and at the steering wheel, right? The incident raised concerns about the safety and well-being of the toddlers, prompting authorities to take immediate action. Steering wheel, right? So for now, what you about it? Okay. Killing Beck now faces charges related to child neglect as authorities work to ensure the children's safety and determine the circumstances surrounding the incident. After receiving an anonymous call concerning someone's well-being and a distress code, Shelton police released body camera footage of the subsequent events. Officers arrive to a home and faint arguing can be heard through the door. When officers knock on the door, a man identified as Gordon Cole answers the door. For about 10 minutes, officers... The footage shows officers arriving at a home where they encounter Gordon Cole Jr. inside. There is arguing heard and officers attempt to speak with Cole for about 10 minutes. As tensions rise, officers try to take Cole into custody, leading to a struggle. They explain why they were called to the home and that they're concerned about the other person's safety. At one point, it does appear that an officer pushes Cole towards the door. There does appear to be another adult. Black Lives Matter 860 has called for the release of the body camera footage, expressing concerns about Cole's treatment during the arrest. Leading a protective order and attempt to take him into custody. About 20 minutes after officers arrive, things begin to escalate when officers try to place Cole in handcuffs. Cole now faces charges, including interfering with an officer, risk of injury to a child, and violating protective orders. In a troubling incident in Galveston, Jeremy Cummins was attacked by a police canine and arrested after being mistaken for an escaped inmate. Everybody know that. And you didn't run. I, I didn't run. I, I, I have mental problems, but I'm not crazy. The canine bites Cummins multiple times before he's tackled to the ground by officer. Cummins, who had voluntarily sought treatment at UTMB Hospital due to paranoia about police targeting him, found himself confronted by officers upon leaving the hospital. Despite repeatedly stating he was not an escaped inmate, Cummins was pursued by officers and had a canine released on him. On the incident, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice sent us this statement. They say a correctional officer saw a UTMB patient walking suspiciously toward the prison side of the hospital. The canine bit him multiple times before he was subdued and handcuffed. So TDC sees this guy in scrubs and wearing like a, a towel or a blanket. They think it's one of theirs. Ah. 
On January 17th, 2022, Victoria Police responded to a report of a man slumped in a car near a pine plantation. The man, identified as Jared Pennington, was on bail and driving under the influence of drugs. As officers approached, Pennington woke up and attempted to flee, hitting a police vehicle in the process. A pursuit ensued, lasting seven minutes, with Pennington eventually exiting the car in a suburb. Speak when you've spoken to. He then engaged in a foot chase, during which he resisted arrest and assaulted a female officer. Pennington was subsequently charged with several offences and sentenced to 31 months in prison. On February 14, 2018, a 19-year-old named Nicholas Cruz shot at students and staff at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. He killed 17 people and hurt 17 more. Cruz used to go to that school. He ran away but got caught about an hour and 20 minutes later in a nearby place called Coral Springs. What's going on? What's going on today, bro? Demons, man. Demons? The police and lawyers looked into his history of getting in trouble and acting strangely. Amidst a tense situation, Brookhaven police responded urgently to a report of a man threatening lives with a gun. As they race to the scene, tension thickens. The suspect, hidden behind a cabin, becomes the focal point of a gripping standoff. As the scene unfolds, viewers are drawn into the heart-pounding drama. The suspect, identified as 28-year-old Spencer Vaughan Clean, is cornered by the police. Get on the ground! The body cam footage captures every tenth second as the officers navigate the high-stakes confrontation. So I don't got a gun. Can you please don't tell me head? No, I'm not. That's what. That's what. what. I'm not moving until. All right, I got it. No, North South Cooper. Right now. Clean's arrest for attempted arson, public drunkenness, and more add layers of intrigue to this adrenaline-fueled narrative. Around 8:15 p.m., authorities were alerted about a driver who fled from a traffic stop by Bunnell Police. Deputies spotted the vehicle heading south on US-1 and tried another stop, but the driver refused and continued slowly. As Ormond Beach and Holly Hill Police joined in, stop sticks were deployed successfully by OBPD. The driver stopped at a 7-Eleven but wouldn't exit, prompting concerns as he reached inside the vehicle. Let's get, let's back off, let's back off, come on, back off. The driver, identified as Michael Anthony Pettit with a history of criminal charges, was then approached cautiously. Law enforcement devised a plan to breach the vehicle's window and use pepper balls. Upon breach, Pettit exited peacefully around 9.20 p.m. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! You're gonna get bit, get on the ground! During the incident, People inside the store were moved for safety. Only a minor injury to a deputy's hand occurred. Pettit faces charges from both VSO and Bunnell PD. I've eight. Hang, hang up, bro. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Especially for me. As officers approached, they instructed the individual to ensure their hands were empty and then detained him for an investigation. Uh, we need a cruiser. I'm gonna walk like, back over what's here. going on right now, though? Well, right now, you're being detained for an investigation. The incident involved a man allegedly firing shots behind a Walmart while intoxicated, as shown in the body camera video released by Westchester Police. Right, we'll see in a minute. We'll see in a minute. We'll check. Hey. Yeah. Hang on, in a gripping body cam video, watch as Brookhaven police apprehend 28-year-old Spencer Vaughan Klein, who is accused of attempting to set a police car on fire. The 
scene starts with tension mounting, as Clean is seen fidgeting nervously inside his Ford car. There's a gas can, he has paper and stuff like that in his pocket, so... As the officers rush in, they swiftly take control of the chaotic situation. Clean, appearing disoriented and possibly under the influence, is met with firm instructions from the police. After waking up, the individual was approached by officers to discuss the situation. Talk to you for a minute. So what's going on? Uh, what's going on? Huh? They questioned why the individual was placing bags with rice and flyers containing hateful content on driveways. All right, why are you putting bags in the driveways all around, all around here? Huh? Why are you putting the bags with the rice in the driveways? No, I'm flying. Flyers? Yeah. So the police arrested the individual for allegedly distributing racist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic flyers in Sandusky. I'll, I'll help you. Sure. Where's your phone at? During a conversation with the police, the individual expressed curiosity and a lack of trust. They questioned the officer's motives and asked to be allowed to leave. So, Tell me I'm free to go right now. I walked up here Tell with you because you invited me to walk right with now. you. Tell me I'm free to go right now. Take I'm, off your I'm gun. Just... The conversation became tense as the individual demanded truth and transparency. They accused the officers of trying to assassinate them and claimed to be sexually assaulted by the police. I'm being accosted for walking down the sidewalk. I want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you three God. The situation escalated as the individual insisted on their rights and expressed fear and distrust towards the officers. Or no. Are you trying to assassinate me? Are yes you, or no? You want some kind of narcotic or something? No. Yes or no? Are you trying to assassinate me right now? The conversation ended with the individual feeling threatened and demanding to be released. Police body cam footage captured the intense moments during the arrest of Meshon Williams, a suspect in the murder of six-year-old Zamari Mitchell. Right now! Right now! Right now! Come! Come! Come now! The video shows officers urging Williams to come out of the bushes, indicating a tense situation and potential resistance during the arrest. During a traffic stop in Jim Hogg County, Texas, a trooper discovered that the driver, Lydia Elizabeth Badillo, was smuggling two undocumented women from El Salvador. Do you, do you, uh, ma'am, what? Ma'am. I just want to... Uh, Estos documentos por un año. Por un año. Por un año, okay. Badillo initially tried to flirt with the trooper, but later admitted to smuggling the women from a stash house in Mission. She planned to evade the Falfuria's border patrol checkpoint and hand over the two women to another driver in Corpus Christi. Okay. Turn up. Uh, separate your uh, arms. This smuggling method is commonly used for forced labor and sex trafficking. Badillo was arrested for human smuggling, and the migrants were referred to the U.S. Border Patrol. Okay. They're my friends. Okay, and, and who are these? Both of my friends. Okay. That many young. Okay. Okay. Are, are, are these legit? Because they look fake. Okay. 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 During a press conference, La Mesa City Council members and officials released body cam footage of the controversial arrest of Amori Johnson near the Grossmont trolley stop. The officials addressed the protests and unrest that followed, promising a full public accounting of the incident and plans to enhance response and processes moving forward. In the shadows of March 22nd, 2023, a shocking event unfolded. A woman, once a social media sensation, found herself in cuffs, accused of assaulting a young student. Yep, come on. As I said before, this officer has a body cam on him as well, so um, just to make you feel more comfortable. You know. As the scene started, three police vehicles descended, cloaked in an eerie calm. What led to this moment remained shrouded, hinted at only by the gentle yet firm instructions the officers murmured. 
Okay, Brittany, come on over here. Yeah. yeah. Did you double lock? Uh, I didn't. I okay. Don't think you want to okay. Oh, Brittany, I'm going to turn your wrist in here, okay? Behind closed doors, a tale of crime and consequence awaited its reveal, and as the dust settled, the truth emerged. Zamora's fall from grace culminated in a 20-year sentence. Have anything on you that's going to hurt me? You could me, stick me, anything like that? Um, no. Anything dangerous? No weapons? Okay. No, I can't yeah, can you? Yeah. A suspect, Eblair Sylvain, 18, stole a pickup from Umatilla and raced into Volusia County on Thursday afternoon. Driving wildly at over 100 miles per hour, he veered off and on the road, narrowly avoiding multiple crashes. All right, he's coming over the bridge, high speed. Three, two, one. Deputies used stop sticks on West New York Avenue to halt the suspect, who then fled into nearby woods. In the chaos, he dropped a handgun, its serial number erased. The defendant faces charges including grand theft of a vehicle and firearm, reckless driving, and resisting arrest. Sorry. Uh, you copied about Currently held at Volusia County Branch Jail on a $25,000 bond, Sylvain's actions sparked a chase and raised questions about his motives. 